In other news, law enforcement and medical professionals in Rock County are teaming up to take down the heroin epidemic. Our Rock County reporter Jenna Middaw shares the unique way they're educating the community on how to administer the life-saving drug Narcan. A new preview will soon hit the big screen, but unlike your typical movie trailer, this one shows you how to save lives. With candy, popcorn, and soda in hand, most people come to the movies to relax. But Schubert's Luxury Tent Theater in Beloit wants to turn that time into a learning opportunity. What a great way to get to the public, because people are sitting there enjoying their popcorn, and you know, it's just this educational platform for them. The theater already shows a PSA on hands-only CPR, and soon it'll start playing one that demonstrates how to administer Narcan, a drug that can reverse the effects of an overdose. Right now, uh... Rock County, along with the rest of the United States, is facing an epidemic. That epidemic is terrible. It destroys lives. It destroys families. Uh, it affects far more than just, just the person who's using. For General Manager Hillary Krieger, who is also an EMT, it's important to spread the word. This was huge for us to start it here, and I hope it continues to grow because, you know, we want to save people. We want to be able to help people who are in need. The PSA, created by Mercy Health and local fire and police personnel, will play before every movie in both English and Spanish. Addiction knows no socioeconomic status. Uh, it knows no race. It knows no creed. It affects us all. I hope that by using this, this platform, we reach out to many, many, many more people than, than we have before in the past. We want to see people saving others' lives, and not only will they feel good about it, but the person, you know, probably so thankful that someone in the area knew what they were doing. Mercy Health says the PSA is still being edited right now, but it should hit theaters around the beginning of March. In Beloit, Jenna Middaw, WISC News 3.